bitch. Now wait a minute, wait a minute, bitch. Is it on? Is it on? Now wait a minute, bitch. Baby, let me tell you something, honey. I got some stuff on my chest that I got to get off, child. I, T.S. Madison, will never, ever, ever, ever shop at Bed Bath & Beyond again without my can of mace, okay? Honey, I have got up and went to Bed Bath & Beyond because I was looking for some curtain rods. Excuse me, yes. Curtain rods. And honey, in the midst of me looking for some curtain rods, child, me and my homegirl, we're just talking, and I'm a type of girl that likes to wear a big, giant pocketbook. And I noticed this old lady just looking at me. So I was like, hey, ma'am, how you doing? She was like, honey, that old woman was staring me down, giving me one of those, are you stealing looks? Like, I detected a little shade. I did. And before I really attacked this older lady, I said, I'm just going to leave. So in the midst of me leaving, honey, me and my girlfriend tiptoeing, and we get to the little front of the store, all of a sudden, a clerk just came right through and walked past me, climbed up, hit the switch, and the doors closed like this. They locked all the doors, so we was just in the box. Let me tell you something. I'm a wild animal, and there's no way you can put a bitch like me in a box. They said, ma'am, open up that pocketbook. We need to see inside your purse. Now wait a minute, bitch. I am from the deep down south honey streets of Miami, Florida. And one thing you ain't never gonna do is go inside a black bitch like me pocketbook. So I stood there and I said, listen, if you feel like I took anything from the back of that store back there, call the motherfucking police. So we standing there and I'm waiting. So they call in a big old security guard named Steve. My homegirl pocketbook made the census beat. When the pocketbook went off, she reached in there, she picked up the phone and the senses went off again. And I said, you see, when Steve walked over there and saw that the phone made the, the senses go off, they knew we hadn't stole nothing. But that didn't stop T.S. Madison, baby. And I don't know if I should tell this story. Because what I did was the unthinkable. Baby, when that lady walked past me, honey, to go up there and click that switch to open those doors to let me out, she said, and I would appreciate if you wouldn't bring your behind back in this store. I dug down deep in my pocketbook and I pulled out the biggest can of maize you ever wanted to see in your entire life. I let go and let God. Do you understand what I'm telling you? I started with her. I went in on the other ladies. I tiptoed over here. It was six of them. I got all of them, honey. They was like roaches. But I saved the best Six foot five Steve, I tiptoed to the front and said, now wait a minute, bitch. <laughs> Baby Steve stopped, dropped, and rolled. Oh. oh. I said, well, you know what, Madison? I think it's time for you to exit the building. So I politely tiptoed off, honey, and looked over my shoulder like this. <laughs> Not only did I bed and bath, I went beyond. Always remember to read good books and bad people. And I'm out. Let's not forget to subscribe to Wild Presents. That's Wild Presents.